Hello, this is Victor. Welcome to Channel Vic 5 and Season 4. Okay, so in the last episode, I showed you how to create the table, the amortization table, uh, with the extra payments. So today we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you how to use that table to look at mortgages, loans, um, credit card balances, and how extra payments can impact that. And that's going to be the really interesting part about it. But before we start, we're going to have to make one change to the formula uh, under the extra payments. Uh, just include that one column. So let's take a look at the one change you're going to have to make. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is go to this table and go to these, this first line over here. And as you can see, it says plus A8 minus E8. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a plus. We're going to do plus the starting balance minus the principal reduced and then minus the extra payment. So basically we're just adding minus FA to it. Okay, and we're going to hit enter. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this because the first line stays the same because it has values related to this, those cells there. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a plus the starting balance minus the principal reduced minus the extra payment. Okay, and we're going to copy that down all the way to the very end. And you'll see really you shouldn't change and it doesn't. Okay, but the formula has now changed. If you look over here, there's that extra F minus, minus F. Okay, so that uh, I should have done that in the uh, at the beginning part, but anyway, it's in there now. So now the formula works with the extra payments. So now let's play with the extra payments and see what happens to our mortgage. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is I want to do go back up here and change so so that I don't type in every extra payment line by line. I'm going to do a plus there. Then I'm going to copy this all the way down. So now if I put in a value, control D. So if I put in a value here, watch, like one, it'll copy it all the way down to the very end, right there, as you can see. All right, there we go. See, right to the very end. Okay. So let's put that back to zero. Now the other thing I want to do is let's just go to the end of our, mor our mortgage so you can see how it changes. So we're going to go to December 1944 where it is, there's the, this is the last payment. So to see it better, what I like to do, just so that you don't change the, the, for the table, is I like to highlight, sorry, this part and just to pick any number of lines and we're going to change the font color to white. So as you can see, now you can see it's still there so you can always change it back to black but at least now you can see the end. Okay, we're going to just uh, highlight the last payment because as you can see the last payment is now 1520 instead of 1844. Okay, so now the now the fun part comes. We're going to going to add values to the extra payment and we're going to start with something simple like say $100 a month and see how that changes. Okay, so I'm going to put in $100 in here. Okay, and uh, now let's go to the end and what we're looking for is the negative value, the first negative value because then that will tell you with the end part. Ah, there it is right there. See that? There it is. And so the last payment, I'm going to highlight this. The last payment now at $100 a month is 1498 and it's February 43. So let's just do a one down here, two down here. And let's see how many payments have been reduced by just by doing $100 a month. Okay, look at that. So, by 
Making an extra payment of $100 a month, you've reduced your mortgage by two years pretty well, which is pretty good. So that means that if you add, say, $200 a month, well, let's take a look again. So we're going to change that to 200. Okay. Now we're going to look for the negative value because the negative value tells you the fur in the ending balance. The negative value will tell you the first, um, the last payment. So there's the negative value right there. So there we have that. Highlight that, and you can see there it is. So looks like another two years. Let's just. Go one, two, to the next one, and copy that down. Let's just take a look and see. Okay, so in this case, it's almost two years. It's 19 payments or 20, something like that. Anyway, so it's basically about two years. So you can see how when you add extra payments in there, it impacts your mortgage in a positive way. But now you can see how it does it. Okay, so now let's put this back to uh, zero. Okay, so now we're back to, of course, our standard December 2000, December, December 2044. Okay, so let's see what happens if you do, say, an extra payment of just uh, 1200 at once. So we're going to do a 1200 payment, say, at the end of the year. Okay. So we do just one. So I'm going to do 1,200. Okay. Whoops. I have to put the zero in there. I'm going to just highlight that so I know that I've made a change there. Okay. So now we'll go back, and we shouldn't see too much of an impact, but we'll see something. Okay. So by doing that, we've reduced it by, for the most part, two. Here it is, right there. So you've almost um, reduced that by two and a half payments. So you can see how an impact makes a difference. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. So um, so that's how you can play with the uh, amortization table. <clears throat> Sorry, um, amortization table and seeing how uh, a mortgage can change with extra payments here and there. And you can add those extra payments in at any point. You can do. Uh, you don't have to add it very like scientifically. Um, for example, say you want to do 200 here. Uh, let's do a zero. Then you want to do say maybe 300 here. We'll do a zero, zero, zero. Maybe 400 here and zero. Right. So again, when you put in, you now you've got uh, 500, 900. Let's add another 500 here, and so that's 1,400. And so, again, when we go going down, it'll be a bit less. Um, it's going to be again impacted right there, and it's very similar to before by that one lump sum. So as you can see, this is your last payment right over here. Okay, so you can see how. Even doing at different times at, uh, with different amounts can change it, and it uh, makes it shorter. Okay, so that's how you can play with your mortgage, and if you have a mortgage, and see how you can make it shorter. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is look at a uh, a loan payment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my table. Do a copy. Create a copy. And I'm going to just uh, retitle it loan. There. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, a real case loan. Um, two years ago, had the windows done in the living room and the basement, and so that was a cost of three thousand dollars. We did a four-year loan at ten percent interest, and so we're at the halfway point of two years. The monthly payment is about $62, and the current uh, principal balance is $1,450. So let's plug those numbers in and see where we're going to end up. Okay. So over here, at the very top, I'm going to put in $1,450. Uh, whoops. 
the interest is 10 percent and the monthly payment is $62 and change I'm just going to put $62 okay so I'm going to go to the very top because there's not going to be very many payments I'm going to take this and make it zero and just uh, make it zero all the way down the line just so that there it is okay I'm going to make this back to um, solid with over here going to automatic there it is okay let's go to the very top and see where the loan ends what we're looking for of course is the zero or the negative value it's right there so the last payment is basically this amount right here so let's highlight that okay so then I'm going to do my usual check of taking this amount and making it white so that it disappears and I can better see my end there's my end okay and as you can see it's um, from the one to there I'm looking at about 26 payments okay so it's just over two years okay so let's assume that um, I'm gonna get an income tax refund and I'm gonna put in say $700 say in April so let's see how that changes my uh, loan outlook okay so here we have April 2020 so over here I'm gonna put in $700 okay now I'm gonna look for the negative there's the negative right there and there is my last payment and as you can see now I pretty well cut the pit cut the time by one year okay so that means that if I'm able to make a $700 payment in April then I can end my um, loan one year earlier and, and that is in January 21 2021 is the last payment and it's only $13 so that tells me that uh, if I do have an income tax refund I should really put $700 down if I want to end that loan which I would okay so now let's look at something else let's look at a credit card okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to do another copy and we're going to call it um credit card okay there we go okay all right so we're going to reset everything we're going to put this to zero okay i'm going to change the take away the highlights so make that back to there i'm going to reset this to uh back to the font of black so you can see the whole thing right there so now we can see the whole table again okay so let's look at a standard uh, credit card that has a 20 percent interest rate or 19.99 let's look at a balance of four thousand dollars and see um say a monthly payment of a hundred dollars as minimum payment and see where you end up uh finishing that payment if you don't buy anything else on the credit card okay so then we're going to go with four thousand dollars we're going to go with 19.99 and we're going to go with the monthly payment of $100 okay so we're going to look for the zero or the negative balance I should say the negative balance is right there so I'm going to highlight that and there it is I'm going to now blank out the rest so I can just easier see my um, end as you can see now based on January 2020 it will take five years or four and a half years to pay this off actually no it's going to take five and a half years to uh, pay this off at a hundred dollars a month um, if you're not paying anything extra so that's going to take five and a half years to pay off so let's see what happens if you add just fifty dollars extra okay so what we're going to do is we're going to add put fifty here and we're going to put 50 here and I'm going to put it all the way down because I took out the plus above and just copy it all the way down okay so now I've added the 50 so now I'm going to go to my negative find my negative which is right here 
So that means this is the last payment. Uh, I'm going to highlight that. And as you can see, we went from 66 payments to 35. So just by adding $50 extra uh, a month on the credit card loan, say if you had it at $4,000 and you were paying 100 and you paid 150, you could cut that amount in half pretty well by just that extra $50. And that's pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, you can just play around with it. You can, you can, you know, you don't have to do an even 50 again. The nice thing with this is let's zero it, you know, and we're just going to copy it down, reset it. The nice thing is you can do lump sum. Suppose every year you have a, in income tax refund, you're going to put down, say, $500. So let's say in April, $500. In April again next year, $500. And let's put April again here, $500. So that's three times. And now your balance is over here. There's, uh, I'm going to highlight that and look at that. So the uh, it has almost the same impact as adding the $50, which is right above. So as you can see, if you did $500 three times in April of the following years, then you can reduce that time again down to almost half just by paying it extra. So this is how the amortization table works. Um, so it's really handy to figure out you know, loans, credit cards, mortgages. So that's the, uh, it for today. If uh, tomorrow, or actually the next episode, what I'm going to do is show you how you can calculate a uh, loan payment if you're planning a loan and, and you want to figure out well how much interest rate, how much how the interest rate is going to change based on the loan and just see what the payments are going to be. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so if uh, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a big like. Uh, please subscribe and I will see you in my next episode. Okay, thank you and bye-bye. Oh, one last thought. Uh, keep in mind that these are guidelines. They're very accurate guidelines, but they are guideline. Uh, in the case of, say, credit cards, it all depends on how it's how the interest is compounded. If it's monthly, if credit cards do it daily, it'll be slightly different. But these are very good guidelines for you to work with uh, in figuring out what you want to do with your credit cards, loans, and so forth. Okay, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.